bombs here. Guys, James Palms here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, about 100 degrees today here in uh, the Fresno Chaffee Zoo. I did a video last year in 2023. I'm going to do one here for 2024. Do some palmage here for you guys. Uh, I'm already seeing a lot, so I'll do a quick uh, palm video here in uh, Fresno at the Fresno Chaffee Zoo. This is a 2024 update, or just a video, anyways. It's 2024, so check it out if you want to see the other one. I did it last year in August. This year it's July, so uh, one month earlier, but nevertheless, let's. Uh, start looking at some palmage here well i got a video of this one last year too here's the one right here against the gift shop the phoenix canariensis just jammed right against the building super close you know it planted itself there this thing is just getting enormous and it's uh flowering it definitely looks even bigger than last time last year and the roof is pushed against it i'd have to compare the video but i don't think it was pushed that tightly against the roof it kind of separates their fence here though it's got some seeds on it that's probably its mother right there. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. But just awesome. Beautiful palm. They got a lot of big Phoenix canariensis here. Canary Island date palms. And these are some Mediterranean fan palms too. These ones are awesome. These are so huge. Tall, big, beautiful. It's gorgeous. I got, I got a video last time of this one here. This is a really sun-deprived Washingtonia robusta Mexican pan palm. The petioles are so lengthy, they just kind of, they're hanging up on there and then they kind of snap. And even though they're snapped and hanging down, they're still green. I've seen this happen before. Skinny trunk, really extra skinny. Even at the base, that's pretty skinny for a Mexican pan palm, especially for as much heat as they get here in the Fresno area. Gorgeous though. It still looks cool. They could look pretty jungly when they're like this, but this one's getting like almost no sun, but still, still keeps ticking away there. Right by the sea line enclosure here, here's a little pack of Mexican fan palms. Most of them are really shade under the shade of this one big one is doing pretty good. Actually two big ones that are doing pretty decent in there. Nice little Mexican fan palms tucked in there. I think I said it last time though, this zoo is pretty beautiful. It's really nicely, really nice, incredible condition and landscaped and paths and everything. All the exhibits, it looks super well, super, super nice. And it's never busy. I mean, the two times I came, it has been not too busy at all. Pretty tropical looking queen though. I like the marks on the trunk. A very tall, gorgeous looking queen. Looks really tropical looking. Cygris, Roman Zafiana. Man, is it hot today. There's not a cloud in the sky. I think it's always hot as hell in Fresno. Probably not so much in the winter, but it's hot beautiful washi in the background there that's over the savannah i think nice clump of bamboo here at the base here there's of this big uh big canariensis these are nice looking trunks they almost look like they're spray painted i think in fact it is this is nice and green though Some of those trunks are really big in there gorgeous i love the look of the bamboo i want to get some pieces like that for my those are probably really old pieces but i want to get pieces like that for my tiki bar if anybody knows where to get these from like uh pre-cut into lengths for uh for building purposes let me know if you find out i haven't seen them on amazon big chunks like that anywhere i'm not sure where to get them from a lot of beautiful date palms here canary island dates Looks like Mediterranean fan palm here. Big clump here at the base too. And there's a fat trunked Washingtonia robusta right there. That's a nice, that's, that's a good healthy trunk. That's even a little bit thicker than mine. That might have a little California in it. That's a pretty big head on that too. That looks real nice. Gorgeous. A little bit of shade, but now it's starting to get full sun there. Looks like some little agave and some aloe. That looks like a Eucharistrata right there. Not 100% sure, but it looks like it. Giant, tall Washingtonia Robusta at this park with all their 
some of them, a lot of them are fibers falling off. That one's huge. That baby right there is ancient. Those are really tall. These are 65 feet maybe. That one might even be closer to 70 feet over there. Oh, here's the ringtail lemurs are in here with these. This is their view. Got a little pond here, a little moat around them because they don't they don't want to get wet. Like most monkeys and primates, they hate water, so they won't go across that. Is that King Julian? I like to move it, move it. You like to move it, move it. You like to move it. I like to move it, move it. Nice. Beauty. This place is a palm tree lover's paradise, though, I will say. I can't recommend it enough. It's gorgeous. Fresno Chaffee Zoo. Cheap, spectacular grounds, lots of uh, exhibits. Great for kids and families, but even if you want to come here by yourself, man, it's beautiful. It's just lovely being outside, being in some beautiful weather, and uh, seeing some really cool animals that you don't see every day. And they actually got pretty cool here. So here's a cool example. I think I did a video about this last year uh, here from the zoo. So we got the elephants right here with my son Austin right here. But you got a perfect example of a California fan palm. You can see the trunk. Okay, and that is a really, really, really tall California fan palm. And then you got right there beside it, two Mexican fan palms. And then another California fan palm. So when they're side by side like this, there's no mistaking it. The washi, the Mexican fan palm, Washingtonia robusta, will always be a little bit taller and much thinner trunk. Uh, and the filifera, Washingtonia filifera, or California fan palm, will always carry, they usually, I find they carry a little bit less uh, up top, a little fo less foliage. Whereas Mexican fan palm, you see green all the way around. They usually do like their 12 o'clock. That might just be here in Southern California, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, the Mexican fan palm, some of them, I mean, some of them don't look great either, but. They'll always be usually taller because they grow faster. Uh, they definitely grow height quicker and uh, and the trunks will always be skinnier. So when they're side by side like this, you can really notice them, but they also hybridize very easily. This one here, the elephants seem to be using it to polish their trunks or sharpen their trunks on. Look at all those marks the elephants. It doesn't seem to bother that California fan palm, Washingtonia filifera. Great, great, great palms. Uh, I've had the seeds before. They don't, they don't particularly like our high humidity though, but uh, there he goes. See, he's putting mud on himself. That's a natural, natural sunscreen. Oh, I remember this one last time. This has got a crazy trunk on it. Crazy nice little hook on this Mexican fan palm. Yeah, but when the Mexican fan palm, when you see them, especially from far away, you can really notice the trunks are always really skinny. They look really skinny. When you plant them, they look fat because you're usually only seeing the base. Uh, so the, the, the base is always, uh, the, the trunk's always tapered. So the, they kind of establish a big base and that's sort of like their anchor point. And then they skinny out and they stay at, you know, it's not that skinny, but it's skinny compared to the California fan palm. And they stay at that all the way up and they just grow out a relatively skinnier uh, uh, trunk diameter, but gorgeous. Wow, look at these California fan palms. These are where I got the video last time. These things are beasts. Right here by the flamingos. These are huge. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, ginormous California fan palms. Look at that. Huge, massive trunks. You know it's real California if that trunk's about the same size as a Phoenix canariensis. These are three just ginormous ones. Here's one of the California fan palms. Here's with a size 16 US. There's the trunk. That's how you know. It's real California fan palm. These babies are beasts. And they're spectacular. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, he's Some little bootias, some pindo palms, another California. Got some big cactus here and some uh, agave americana, it looks like. Nice queen. Ginormous agave. Got some lady palms here. Rhaetus excelsius or whatever. 
a really shade growing queen. Some birds of paradise. Beautiful little over pruned trackies here. Some nice bananas. Really nice fat trunks though. Really hairy and nicely pruned. Look like red Abyssinian bananas. More skinny trackies. Followed up by a California fan palm. Sing my night.